Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas that I'm going to do a traveling ring pour on and I'm going to be using my new five chamber um, cup that I purchased and I will have the name of the company uh, that I purchased that from uh, in the description and it, it, it is a company on Etsy um, now, I'll tell you a little bit about this cup. The outer, the outer four chambers uh, hold 3.7 ounces. In the middle one, 4.05 ounces for a total of about 19 ounces. And that is a lot of paint. So um, I'm, I'm not going to be filling it all the way to the top today. But let's go over my paint colors here. I am using the Artist Love Flow Acrylic White, and that will be my middle color. And then on this outer edge, I'm going to be using Amsterdam uh, Greenish Blue, a very pretty color. And then my next color in this chamber is going to be a combination of Charvin, quinacridone magenta and a, just a dollop of the uh, Grumbacher red. I just wanted to, uh, this turned out a lot lighter than it, sh that it shows here on the tube. So I added a little bit of this Grumbacher red to just darken it just a little bit. And then the middle is, like I said, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And my next color is going to be um, Amsterdam Nickel Titan Yellow. Very light yellow. And then my last color in this chamber is going to be Amsterdam Permanent Violet Blue. Very, very pretty color. I'm sorry, it's Permanent Blue Violet. Yeah, Permanent Blue Violet. And as you can see, I do have the Artist Love Flow Acrylic White around the edges and corners to help the paint move. Um, pouring medium today, two parts Floetrol to one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and about a teaspoon of Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. No silicone added today. So I'm just going to get started with putting my paints in the cup. And this is my first time using this cup, so. Be a learning process. Now, the, the artist that I watched that has done a few pours with the five chamber cup is Gina DeLuca. That's G-I-N-A-D-E-L-U-C-A. -E uh, so if you get a chance to go to her channel, she does have a couple of really nice videos. Um, I think she did a traveling ring on one of them. And the other one I watched that she did was like a, a waterfall pour using this five chamber cup. And they both turned out very, very nice. And I believe that the company I purchased this ch this five chamber cup from her, this lady's husband designed this cup for Gina. So I do have another uh, multi chamber cup. And it's a four chamber cup, a little bit smaller. And then I do have my split cup with just the two, two sides, which I do really enjoy using that one too. I've done at least a couple of videos using just that split cup.
I do have extra of the Artist Love Flow Acrylic White. And I may have to put it down to help the paint move. We'll just have to see how it goes. I think these are four ounce cups here that I'm using, if I'm not mistaken. And let's see how far this fills it up here. Maybe they're three ounce cups. Oops. And I did have to thin my paints today with um, my 90% water, 10% Floetrol mixture. I did forget to mention that. So as you can see, my cup is about half full. So let's get started. Like I said, I'm just going to do a traveling ring pour. And I'm hoping that all these colors play well together. And I'm just going to keep tipping this paint out until it's all gone. I think that will be good. Okay. And I think I will start tipping it before that before I um torch it. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I'm going to turn the canvas this way. And tip this way. And hopefully you can see that. Get over to my sides. Bring it over to this side and then bring it back. To that side and now I'll bring it down. And I am going to bring it down this way. And 
And if I have negative space today, that's fine. That's why I put the white down also. Get this corner here. Okay. Just going to take a look at it here a minute. And I'm going to try and tip it down this way a little bit. And then maybe straight down. See if I can get some of that paint to go over the corner. Okay. And now I'm going to bring it down this way. Quite a big canvas and I do apologize if some of it is out of camera for you. And I'm just going to take another look here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is It a little bit this way and then try and tip it down again get some of the lines straightened out that's pretty good Okay, and I'm going to tip it down a little bit this way. See if I can get some of that paint to run a little bit on that edge. And if not, I don't mind negative space at all. Because that is really, really beautiful down there. Those effects are very, very pretty. And the paint is moving now. And I'll just see what we get here. Now try and guide that as it's coming down. Very nice, very happy with how it's coming along here. Very pretty. And I'm going to bring it back and bring it down just a little bit. And take a look at this now. going to try tipping it this way a little bit. See if some of the paint moves.
Okay. Let me take another look at it here. Check my size. I have to add a little white here to my corner. And add a little white to this corner. I'm going to clean off the bottom here. And I'm going to give it a torch. Very happy with this corner here. Just gonna add a little more white over here, fix it up, and I'm going to get you down for a close up. And you can tell me what you think, and I will tell you the spots that I really, really like. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas that I did a five chamber split cup traveling pour. And this is the, this is one of my favorite spots of the whole painting is up in the left hand corner here. I just really like the the effects that this right in here is beautiful. Just turned out so pretty. The line stayed pretty, pretty intact also. That, that muting right there, so pretty. Kind of a reddish pink color. This is the lower left hand corner. And I will take you up the middle here. Very pretty in here. And here is the upper right hand corner and I do have some negative space, which is fine. I really would have had to stretch way too much and I didn't want to ruin any of these effects that I got. Here's another really pretty part of this painting is in here, right in here, so pretty. Very happy with this painting. And I will be doing some more pours with that split cup. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.